Okay, it's Thursday, January 11th, 2018. I just woke up, it's 3.30 p.m. I went to bed around 5 a.m. after I got home. You know when you're in a period of emotional, spiritual, maturity, growth, and it's just really uncomfortable and you just feel really uncertain about everything and you kind of feel like you're in this like limbo state of like I know that what I wanted in life before this is changing or before this moment is changing maybe not by much but it's still changing and change is really hard for me to deal with and these times where I'm learning to put myself first instead of set myself on fire to keep other people warm it's really hard to learn how to do that and to not feel so guilty about it when I was taking steroids and able to do more, I would often be in a lot rough shape and just not tell anyone and just suck it up. And I'm just so sick of sucking it up and it's time to make me happy. And I like logically know that, right? But like in my head, it's still like, you're not good enough, etc. all that like negative self-talk. Like I'm, I'm stuck between that place where I feel guilty for choosing me and then also relieved that I was able to do that because it's a really big deal for me. Anywho, let's talk about the allergic reaction from yesterday. Mentally, from that reaction, I think I'm, I've been on Benadryl every three hours. Like my mom's wake woken me up to take Benadryl every three hours, two of them. And I think most of the hives are gone. There's still a few right here, right where like the blush was. I call it having allergy brain where like I just space out randomly and like I can't think straight. That's a thing. Oh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah. Physically, I'm sore all over. The inflammation when I have an allergic reaction like this, like a topical reaction, I mean actually any kind of reaction, will obviously cause my muscles to get inflamed. So it's like I have a buildup of lactic acid. Today the goal is just to rest and edit vlogs and try and maintain my small amount of sanity that I'm like grasping onto desperately. I'm very good at want, like internally screaming inside and just remaining cool and calm on the outside, which like I feel like a lot of people are proud of, but I'm not really proud of it because it allows me to keep my illnesses like a secret from other people and not ask for help or not own what I've got going on. And that's like tough to manage too, for sure. I'll obviously, as always, be checking in, hanging out with you, bringing you along with whatever I'm doing. And all I'm doing right now is just sitting and just trying to be. There's a really good guided meditation on Insight Timer app called Simply Be or Simply Being. And it's really, really, really good. I highly recommend Insight Timer as like one of the best meditation apps. Um, I'm, for those of you who do not know, I meditate like every day. Not like every day, I do meditate every day. Always when I wake up, usually before I go to sleep. Sometimes I don't before I go to sleep. And I only do two minutes and people are like, meditating is horrible. And it's like, don't try and do too much, you know? Just start little, start small. It doesn't have to be all or nothing. And that's a really hard lesson to learn. This life is a wild ride, y'all. I found a puppy dog. The puppy wants cuddles. You do? Okay, I come down there, cuddle you. Okay, I'm coming. You know, when you pet your dog's head and it gets so hot. Are you a hot head? Kiss. More kiss. Thank you. So good. Gotcha. Gotcha. He's like, I'm done with you, girl. You want me to come? Well, I don't want to come right now. Okay, so my dad drives for a lift and my mom just told me the most wild story. It's not, I mean, it's just like funny. So he came home last night and he was telling me that he had a family that rode with him and they had like a, I don't know, 10, 12 year old girl. And he was talking about Alex and Levi and the girl was like, oh, he's a golden retriever, I know who that is. And her dad was like, 
what are you talking about? What's, you know, and had no clue about Instagram oh my and God. that kind of stuff. And then the mom is like yelling at him and the girl is like yelling at him and she brings up the Instagram in the car and she's showing it to him. See, Dad, look, look, look. Oh, my <laughs> God. It was so funny. Oh, my gosh. Levi. You're famous, Levi. And Dell's famous. Yay! And Daisy's happy. I was thinking I better get Daisy. a stack of cards and leave them in there for him. Howdy. Don't judge me. The Christmas tree is still up. Just just go with it. It's going to be fine. Oh, my nose is so itchy. My face is so itchy in general. <laughs> Try not to scratch. Don't scratch. I'm just in the living room editing vlogs and watching Alias Grace again. It's my second time seeing it, it's my mom's first time seeing it, and it is a mini series. Levi? Murder mystery. It's so good. Just trying to make the most of feeling like hell. It's like basically this whole part of my body is just like really achy. Like my shoulder, I, I don't know what it is, but. Guess who's back? Hello! They did the thing. Did you go to Ripley's? We did. I didn't know oh. there was a giant tarantula in there, and I was kind of. Oh, I that. had. That is not something that I'm aware of either. And it's like this big. Oh yeah, my and god! I saw it. And I was like, Sam, I need to go look and tell me if that's real. And she walked over and she looked and she went, Yep, that's real. And I was like, You know yeah, what? There's a light cricket up there. There you go. And there my scorpions. Too. My favorite piece in that museum is in the front, uh, like before you go upstairs, and it's a collection of vampire killing kids. Yes. That's my favorite. We loved it. Robert it's Ripley so had the lar world's largest collection of vampire killing kits in the world. Really? I want one. I love it. And they became popular after um, Bram Stoker released Dracula. Mm -hmm. And it was like a Twilight okay, sensation okay. type thing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. If you want to see Levi at Ripley's Believe It or Not in St. Augustine, you can go to that vlog. It's one of my very first vlogs. I love you, Del. Dude, they're so happy. And this is where I ended up about 30 minutes after Kai and Sam left. Oh well, I'll just try again in the next vlog. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.